Hi, I'm Sonja and I work for the left in the European Parliament. Today, I'm going to talk about how the beautiful game of football created by the poor was stolen by the rich. For this story, expect amazing. They can expect an amazing World Cup. We always said expect amazing and we're working on delivering amazing. In 2010, a small Gulf country, Qatar, won its bid for the Men's World Cup 2022. As we've seen, the organizers told us to expect amazing. That is, amazing forced labor, greenwashing, corruption, homophobia and human rights violations. Qatar, a country half the size of Sicily, spent over 200 billion on hosting the event, making it the most expensive men's World Cup in the history of the tournament. 200 billion dollars! You could vaccinate the world four times over or almost end world hunger by 2030. 200 billion dollars, it's the EU's annual budget for fighting climate change multiplied by three. But nah, who cares? Let's build some huge modern stadiums in the deserts and cool them with air conditioning. 200 billion dollars. Where did all the money go? Not on paying workers, that's for sure. Ever since Qatar won the right to host the Men's World Cup in 2010, human rights groups have criticized its treatment of foreign workers. Amnesty International accused Qatari companies of using forced labor and found that many workers were living in squalid accommodation, were forced to pay huge recruitment fees and had their wages withheld and their passports confiscated. In February 2021, The Guardian reported that said 6,500 migrant workers from India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka had died in Qatar since it won the World Cup bid. While Qatar denies this, the number is based on figures provided by the country's embassies in Qatar. About that, let's hear from our member of the parliament, Martina Michels, and the activist that raised the voice to report the abuses. Fußball is a wonderful sport, but the corrupt FIFA zerstört its role as a vermittler between people immer more. The next WM is a scandal turnier. Runtergekühlte Stadien in einem Land mit sengender Hitze sind ein ökologischer Wahnsinn. Tausende Wanderarbeiter starben in den vergangenen zehn Jahren beim Bau der Sportstätten. Das kann doch niemand hinnehmen. Doch die FIFA und Katar vertuschen, verleugnen und verweigern diese Aufklärung. Damit muss Schluss sein. Wir fordern eine lückenlose Aufklärung der Korruption. Wir fordern, die Menschen anzuhören, die in, in Katar für die WM geschuftet haben. Und wir fordern, dass FIFA und Katar die Angehörigen der vielen Toten entschädigen. Sure. Uh, hi, my name is Nick McGeehan. I'm the co-director of an organization called Fair Square. So, so Qatar, like the other Gulf states, has a deeply abusive labor system, which is based on the exploitation of migrant workers, predominantly from South Asia. Uh, the, the centerpiece of this abusive system is, is the kafala system, which places workers under the complete control of their employers. Qatar has abolished it in paper, but uh, in practice it still exists. And there are other issues like passport confiscation, the inability of workers to join trade unions, which is why in many cases we talk about this being a system of forced labor or again, slavery in some, in some egregious cases. As you can see, the FIFA 2022 Men's World Cup is all about money and politics. Money for FIFA, for the sponsors, the teams and the contractors. Some footballers are raising their voices about human rights abuses in Qatar. But what about our world leaders? Well, it's complicated. Qatar is one of the biggest producers of fossil fuels in the world. And in the midst of the energy crisis, Qatar's gas supply is of particular interest to EU leaders right now as they hash out shady deals with little regard for human rights or the green transition. So it's no red card for FIFA or Qatar as world leaders' silence remains golden. If you are outraged by this story and want to help us in raising awareness about human rights and the dignity of workers in Qatar and around the world, please share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Ooh.